can Satan hear the prayers that you pray in your head? This is funny because Greg and I, we teach a uh, course together every spring at Bethel, God, Evil, and Spiritual Warfare. This is one of the few things we don't agree on. Oh, we uh, don't? I thought we You've did. repressed that, haven't you? Um, can can, can demons read our mind? Can Satan read our mind or hear our prayers in this case? Um, you've argued, right? I mean, you, you, you don't think that they can, that he can, right? That demons can uh, read our mind? I, I don't have any evidence either way. I don't know. Come on, argue with me. <laughs> am, am I supposed to say no, they can, or they, yes, they can? <laughs> Maybe I've converted you. I, yeah. I don't remember even having this argument. Really? Yeah. How old are you? And your memory is so you good. Yeah. Um, my, my opinion is, and that's all it is, is that they can, and it's purely on what I might call my own personal experience. Um, I know you haven't, you've, you have articulated other ways of explaining my experience. Um, have you ever had those moments when usually late at night, probably around midnight, within a, three hours either way, in which you wake up and you're really scared? Like, you sense mm -hmm. the presence of evil. Um, I have had a couple of those experiences in my life, and so petrified at that point, and this was actually during a period of life where I was going through some spiritual warfare stuff, so it made sense. Um, I, I was just so physically immobilized in fear at the moment when I woke up, just this sense of something in the room that is, that I couldn't, I couldn't even, like, like I know, Paul rebuked the thing. I couldn't talk. But I could think. And I began to rebuke uh, this presence in my mind with, by the name of Jesus. And uh, it seemed to me that that thing responded by, by leaving or dissipating, whatever language you use for that. So it impressed me in the moment that something's hearing something because I'm rebuking really loud in my head. And, uh, and the thing um, took off, uh, whatever that was. Now, you theologize that differently. Well... I, I, it's not that I'm committed to the idea that demons can't read your mind. I, I just don't think we know. Um, and in, in this case, you know, I do think God uh, can because he knows everything. And so God knows that you're praying that, and I think he's got something to say with whether demons are around or not. So I, I don't think that that experience uh, proves that demons can re read uh, our minds. We, look, we don't even know what consciousness is. We don't know much about the spiritual world at all. We're only given little tiny practical marching orders in the Bible. And so I, I don't you know, feel, for, for me, the, what I want to ask for the person who asked that question is, what does it matter? And here's where things can begin to get funky because I've met people, so has Paul, who resolve the issue one way or another, but the, the practical implications they draw from that are not necessarily healthy. I mean, for example, uh, I recently spoke with a person who was trying to insist that everybody uh, should speak in tongues when they pray because uh, the devil can't um, uh, understand tongues. And if he does understand normal languages, uh, since, since he doesn't normal, understand normal languages, we need to sort of short circuit him and bypass him and trick him. Also, if you're saying, passing on some important information to somebody about spiritual warfare, uh, you, you, uh, you know, don't want to do it in a way that could uh, enlighten the devil on it, or something like that, uh, because he can read your mind. And it, I would just, in response to that, see, I, I, I'm really hesitant to have people going down these rabbit trails, drawing up weird implications based on theories for which we have no good evidence. Um, you know, with, with regard to speaking in tongues, it's a wonderful gift, uh, but I can show you scriptures that seem to really clearly suggest that it's not a gift that everyone has, and so I'm going to take that over any theory that says they ought to speak in tongues because that way you can bypass the enemy and out trick him or something like that. And what can often happen is, however we think about the demonic realm, whether they can read our minds or not or understand tongues or not or whatever, we can easily get involved in magic where now we're trying to outsmart the devil by the particular things that we know and the particular tricks we can do. And as I read the New Testament and following the paradigm of Jesus, there's no trickery involved, there's no magic involved, there's no, you know, secret knowledge involved. You just stand in your identity in Christ, and you just know who you are, and you take authority and trust that God's stronger than the devil and, and do warfare. And so that's more, I don't know how to answer that question, uh, but the more important question is to say that there's nothing of practical importance that hangs on it. If there was something that hung on it, I'm thinking God would have told us the answer to it. Do you think it's a practically important question? Okay. <laughs> 